keep it up for a couple days, do more tests. So they got me kitted out. I mean, I got my own wheelchair, and it's got the bag with the IV, and then the painkiller hooked up to it, which I'm supposed to self-administer. I've got the, this button that releases, that releases the morphine. Only I'm convinced that there was no morphine. I think because of the vague nature of irritable bowel syndrome, and also because at the time, I was sort of a you know, shaggy-haired young fellow, they didn't believe that I was in pain. They thought I was a drug seeker. Because I'm convinced there was nothing in there. She said to me, she goes, okay, you push that button once every half hour, it'll release the stuff and you'll be comfortable. Three minutes later, I'm like somebody losing on Jeopardy. I'm punching on this thing for all I'm worth. There is no relief. I'm reaching, I'm squeezing the bag, trying to get some more flow, trying to get the thing. In fact, I'm convinced, I'm convinced that there was no morphine because another nurse comes over to change the bag. I said, what do you have there? She says, saline. I said, no, 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 I'm supposed to have morphine. She goes, oh, right, Johnny Harris. Yes, my lover, that's morphine. That's the, you push your button every half hour. I said, Mrs., I haven't unpushed the button in half. I've been squeezing the thing. I'm like somebody who lost a pin out of his grenade. I was <laughs> squeezing this thing. A drug seeker. Can you believe that? Then she got mad at me five minutes later because I had pulled the tube out of the bottom of the bag. I was suckling it like a gerbil. <laughs> I had never been insulted, so insulted in all my life. Do you know what I eventually had to do to get some relief? To get some relief, I eventually had to sneak out of that area down to the pay phones and get my drug dealer to come meet me at the hospital. <laughs> I'm Johnny Harris, everybody. Thanks so much. Take care.